Welcome to Technology Talks. When Hyundai entered India in late 90s, the few could have imagined how Centro with iconic tall boy design would capture the imagination of Indian customers and set a new benchmark for modern mobility. Ever since then, Hyundai has grown become India's second largest car maker, consistently leading the way in premium features, advanced safety and electric mobility. At the core of this journey lies the manufacturing, the bridge between bold engineering and customer-ready excellence. Leading this critical function in our guest today, as Chief Manufacturing Officer and Whole Time Director of Hyundai Motor India, Mr. Gopal Krishnan CS, who has been instrumental in driving Hyundai's manufacturing transformation from Industry 4.0 adoption and digitalization to EV readiness and world-class quality. In this special episode of Technology Talks, we will explore how Hyundai is aligning innovation with scale, building agility for the future and redefining automotive manufacturing in India. It's our honor to have Mr. Gopal Krishna on this episode and let's speak to him what he has to say. Welcome to the show, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. First of all, I would like to understand from you about the ever-changing consumer trends. How the Hyundai is able to make the change? How are you able to meet the market demands when it comes to the shop floor? See, uh, Hyundai has been offering future-rich uh, premium products according to the customer demands. And uh, this uh, 536 acres, uh, one of the best uh, passenger vehicle manufacturing plants across uh, global uh, in terms of uh, our production technology, production facilities, processes and people. And uh, we make multi-model, multi-variants in a single line. So right from the day one, uh, we have been able to uh, meet the market requirement uh, as per the sales forecast. Uh, since these, these lines are fungible and agile lines, uh, we are able to meet the uh, market requirement as per the customer's taste. Right. So Indian market has changed from petrol, diesel to CNG. Now we are moving towards electrics and you are mm -hmm. almost, you know, making multi-variants on your shop floor. How, mm -hmm. how are things happening at the shop floor level when it comes to the technology part of it? How automation is helping? And what about the recent trend on AI? As I said, uh, since we are making multi-model, multi-variant single line, so we are trying to leverage the advanced technologies and automation levels to improve our efficiencies, uh, to improve our production matrices. Mm. And the highly integrated, uh, this facility, with strong IT interface and uh, uh, correct deployment of advanced digital solutions, uh, helping us to you know, the mitigate the challenges. At the same time, we are able to produce good quality cars as per the requirement. Right. Uh, if you ask me specific examples in each and every department, right. uh, we have deployed uh, uh, the solutions, advanced manufacturing solutions to improve our efficiencies, to uh, proactively uh, identify the bottlenecks mm -hmm. and to reduce the down times. In the process of, you know, establishing new products, for example, we deploy the DPA, uh, digital pre-assembly, which helps us to identify the potential uh, errors upfront before the launch. That significantly reduces the launching time. Wow. And for uh, training our employees, uh, we have developed our own uh, virtual reality modules wow. by our own engineers, wow. so by which we can uh, train our operators hmm. multiple times. Right. And uh, these solutions we have deployed in maintenance, uh, quality, and supply chain functions. Uh, for example, uh, we have deployed the analytic solutions. So we collect the data, we process, and uh, <coughs> we derive patterns from by which we are able to predict the failures and we can carry, carry out the predictive maintenance and significantly we can reduce the down times. Right. So the technology is really helping us right. 
to not only to uh, you know improve the efficiency but at the same time reduce the fatigue of the operators right for example um, the engine exterior inspection say for example 30 plus parts uh, which need to be confirmed uh, for the presence uh, at the same time the specifications so we have deployed a, a kobo instead of manual operation we have deployed a kobo with which uh, inspects the entire engine exterior within say one one minute and confirms all the exterior parts right. according to the multivariance then specification also this will significantly reduce the defects almost to zero and uh, the quality levels also similarly when you are talking about ai we have developed the in house a solutions for exterior inspection uh, earlier the we deployed operators the inspectors basically mm -hmm. to you know uh, uh, confirm the exterior parts against 30 plus parts mm -hmm. uh, in the same line uh, where we produce multi models so he has to remember all the parts all the specifications sometimes the error happens so now we have developed a solution, AI based solution. He has to just simply scan with a tag right. across the entire, you know, exterior, I mean, exterior of the uh, car body, which helps him to simply, you know, scan and he can immediately find out the yeah. errors in case. So that has really helped us to reduce the defect almost to zero. Hmm. So these solutions are really helping us to, you know, hmm. maintain consistency hmm. at the same time the quality levels are of a required level. Yeah. Right. So on the behalf of the audience, I would like to understand from you, they're going knee down connected features and the ADAS features and putting them into, because earlier it was all infotainment, putting an infotainment and how all these things panning out at the shop floor, what are the technological advancements you have done, uh, how are things happening in terms of putting these features and giving to the customers back? So uh, in line with the product, uh, you know, the premium features, say ADAS right. or connected cars, uh, we... Uh, right from the launch stage itself, we have we do a thorough uh, process planning, identify the uh, appropriate stations mm. where we can deploy these uh, validation equipments, mm. and we uh, design those equipments. We and we uh, you know commission those equipments, and for example, we validate those processes. For ADAS, we do the calibration of those uh, equipments, and for connected cars, again the software update updates have to be validated. So necessary equipment have been installed in the assembly line uh, for validation of all these hmm. uh, advanced features. Uh, how about the feedback coming from the customers, from the dealers? Like uh, some changes, there you have about 52 variants in one particular model. Uh, some features are requested, like sunroof is in the, like one of the key features where customers are making a buying decision. Uh, how it has been translating seamlessly through the process of technology uh, how digitalization is helping you to get that market feedback loop? You know, necessary infrastructure we have already developed. So this is integrated plant, as you said. We have real-time feedback, both from the downstream, the dealer side, from the upstream, the right. supplier side also. We get real-time feedbacks, we process it, and wherever it is required, hmm. we upgrade it with the technology or engineering solutions. Uh, for specifically new models, we, of course, we do get the Indian customer, consumers' uh, mm. preferences, taste, mm. and by through product clinics, and we get all those feedbacks, and we uh, incorporate all those uh, feedbacks in our uh, products. Right. I believe this is one of the India's most busiest plant because it is running at most 100% capacity when it comes to, because you're already supplying to lobby, you're the largest exporter in the country as well. Mm -hmm. uh, there are right-hand drives, there are left-hand drives. How do you uh, manage everything from one single plant? See, the, we have very strong, uh, you know, I mean, HMC uh, manufacturing practices. As I said, uh, some of the best, uh, global best practices uh, in terms of the facilities, uh, technology, and people. We have got a structured uh, uh, education programs for all the levels, right from the associates, engineers, managers, even the senior leadership also. And uh, for establishing any new product, we have got a structured program uh, right from the trial stage to the mass production. And uh, deploying various solutions are really helping us to achieve the good quality at the required level at, across all the uh, right. departments. Uh, specifically, if you ask me in body shop where we do the complete body welding, 
uh, we have got a global body line where mm -hmm. we can produce four models at the same time. Suppose we want to change the uh, requirement or the ratios according to the market requirement, you have to simply you know, increase the number of the carriers and it takes very less time. And whenever you want to introduce new models, uh, you have to simply change the carrier okay. and uh, you have to uh, teach the robots. Right. So by which uh, the uh, establishing time for new models or introduction of uh, mm -hmm. new models mm -hmm. is significantly reduced. Right. You have very aggressive plans for next few years. By 2030, you're planning to launch many new models. Uh, EV, EVs is one of the prime uh, focus area for Hyundai as well. Uh, how do you see the production of EVs versus the normal ICE vehicles? What is the difference? How the whole production capacity and the production planning changes? Currently, the Chennai capacity is around 824,000 units and Pune will be around uh, 170,000 in phase one. In phase two, will be another, uh, you know, eighty thousand. So closely, it will be two lakh fifty thousand. So close to one million, we will be able to right. uh, achieve. So uh, our aim is to make the lines, the production line, much fungible, much agile, hmm. to meet the varied demand. Multi-model, multi-variant. We can produce ice, EV, hmm. diesel, petrol, CNG, the same line. Wow. The only thing is that if you have a very thorough process planning upfront and uh, if you are able to identify the proper stations with correct line balancing mm. without compromising the the operation time or the efficiencies uh, you'll be able to you know appropriately design the layouts and the mm. station in which the particular part has to be assembled mm. uh, you can manage any model in any variant in a single line so we have got a necessary infrastructure for ev eyes in the same line mm. without compromising the operation time or any efficiency one last trivia question. Uh, in one hour, how many cars do you produce at Hyundai plant in Chennai? The capacity is around 131 units uh, per hour we, per can, hour we can make. Again, it's a multi-model, uh, multi-variant. Uh, see, our aim is to you know continuously upgrade. Uh, we don't want to be complacent about, about our, our processes or our facilities. Mm -hmm. uh, we always continuously focus on innovation. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> wherever there is a scope of improvement, Mm. We are quite open for uh, adopting new technologies mm. and uh, some of the uh, in-house uh, inventions have helped us to get the patents. Wow. And we give a lot of opportunity to our employees also to take part in this whole okay. journey. We do conduct uh, every year the Manufacturing Excellence Expo, wherein okay. we invite the technology partners. Wow. Uh, like, uh, <coughs> I don't want to mention, but we invite some of the technology mm. partners. Okay. Uh, engineers, employees are open to, you know, Artists. bring out the uh, real-time uh, issues or gaps where they can improve mm. and they can match these gaps with the available solution and they mm. can implement and uh, they, give, they have been given an opportunity to, to improve their areas at the same time. We get some of the patents for this inventions also. Okay, so you have got many solutions from this industry, manufacturing uh, yeah. also. That's really nice. This one plant is, I think, one of the examples of global manufacturing hub from India because you're exporting to many countries. Uh, would like to understand from you at your level uh, when it comes for the decision making uh, at different countries, you have got different inputs. What is that thing that you're able to solve for the HMC Korea? See, actually, you know, uh, our uh, this plan is uh, we want to make us a manufacturing hub for emerging markets. Okay. So right now the domestic and export is around 80 to 20 percent and we want to uh, sustain this excellence journey and we want to replicate the same journey in Pune also uh, to be the one of the best global manufacturing plants in terms of uh, you know the production matrices. Uh, so we want to continue this excellence and uh, as far as the decision making uh, of course the feedbacks we do get from Indian customers uh, uh, some of the project execution or some of the new ideas innovations right. we are able to uh, you know implement by ourselves mm. uh, uh, i will give, like to give some specific examples <clears throat> even during covid challenges we were implementing one of the key projects uh, because of covid reason uh, there were some issues with, from the technology partners so we our engineers have the they had the capability to do the reverse engineering to develop these solutions by in house and we were able to complete uh, the entire project within a very short time with reduced cost. 
So self-reliance is one of our focused areas. And uh, even we are giving very strong focus uh, in localization. So we are focusing on high technology parts like panoramic sunroof or reverse mm -hmm. park assistance sensors. Right. We bring technology partners mm -hmm. uh, to have technical agreement with Indian local mm -hmm. partners. So uh, we want to uh, you know, give a strong focus on localization. This, will, this helps us not only to reduce cost, mm -hmm. but it can de-risk the entire supply chain. All right. Last two questions. One, on the workforce manpower training, how are you handling so much level, so many manpower? Uh, how about the training? What is that attrition rate? If you could give some glimpse on that. See, we give very strong focus on training. Okay. We've got a structured uh, uh, education program. Uh, see, I've been working this company since 97. Uh, uh, we developed each and every, uh, for each and every department, specific manuals, all the processes, all the facilities, and all the protocols. And uh, <coughs> even from the, for the associates, we got a structured uh, program starting from safety. We do have uh, safety experience centers where they themselves can experience those kind of, you know, the incidents. Uh, we've got a specific uh, 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 experience uh, machines. If they stand on those machines, he can feel by himself the effect of the particular incident or accident. And we do provide uh, virtual reality modules for safety education. And of course, uh, we do have a dexterity center uh, in the assembly shop, you can see, for you know, uh, improving the motions, improving the, uh, the walking, and to reduce the fatigue. So a thorough training uh, is, has been given uh, for the, all the operators, associates. And of course, we do use uh, virtual reality modules for new model programmers. Similarly, for each and every level, uh, uh, the, we have got a structured programming and we have, we have got partnership with some of the premier institutes uh, for even the technical as well as leadership trainings. Right. Last question on cyber security. Uh, how are you protecting the overall data, overall plant operations? Because there have been instances specifically in automobile productions, you know, companies go halt for two days, three days. Yeah, I mean, it's a very good question. Uh, since, since we are again dealing with multiple equipments, uh, we have firewalls, uh, structured protocols uh, with the strong support of HMC. Uh, we do conduct uh, regular checks, okay. not only in the factory, but also with our vendor partners uh, so that we are fully protected. So this HMC is strong protocols and the regular checks, uh, these are helping us to you know, uh, prevent any, any issues. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us today. Thank you.